Hi, I'm Clint Hoffman from Kramer Electronics. Welcome to Kramer's K-Tech video series, where we answer real-world questions that people often ask when they call Kramer's technical support line for help. Today's question is, how can an HDMI repeater help resolve issues related to running an HDMI video signal much farther than it is designed to be sent. Let's start from the beginning. Reclocking and equalization are processes that regenerate or recover a signal that has deteriorated due to a long cable run. It works kind of like your brain does when it sees this sentence. You're able to fill in the blanks here even though you don't have all the information there's still enough there to piece it together. That's what a repeater does. It regenerates the signal and restores the information. Keep in mind that the repeater must be placed where the video signal is still stable. If the repeater is placed in a location where the video signal is already so far deteriorated that the repeater can no longer determine the correct information, the repeater cannot do its job. Let me show you. Here's a Blu-ray player designed to send a signal over a six-foot cable to a display. Now we're going to ask it to push a 1080p video signal over an additional 50 feet of cable. We probably have about 25 feet already here. So take a look at the screen behind me. You see the flashing and the sparkles on the screen? Those are bit errors caused by attenuation in the cable. HDMI signals are not designed to be sent that distance without some type of active electronics to help the signal get from point A to point B. At some point, maybe a little longer length of cable, the bit errors will be so high that the video signal will completely collapse and there won't be any image at all. Unlike analog signals that slowly deteriorate over a long cable length, digital signals are ones and zeros. They either work or they don't. Let me introduce you to Kramer's PT-101HXL HDMI repeater. Its job is to take a video signal that has been run a distance and has begun to deteriorate and regenerate it so that it can go the remaining distance. Let's take a look at how it works. We have our multiple lengths of cable totaling about 75 feet all linked together with passive couplers. And you can see the sparkles on the screen because the signal is on the verge of collapse. Now I'm going to replace the coupler with the PT-101HXL and let's see what happens. The video signal is restored to perfect condition. The repeater is allowing it to repass through the remaining length of cable. The PT-101HXL can be used in two applications. First, on source devices that have weak HDMI drivers and that are not designed to send a video signal long distances. And second, on display devices that don't have reclocking and equalization circuitry on their inputs. By the way, virtually all Kramer products have reclocking and equalization at their inputs and outputs. And there you have it. That's how an HDMI repeater can help resolve issues related to running an HDMI video signal much farther than it was designed to be sent. Get more answers by becoming a Kramer Certified Digitalist. For Kramer Electronics, I'm Clint Hoffman. Thank you.